Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, what you should learn in 2020 because it's the uh, end of 2019 almost, and uh, this is one of the last videos which I'm doing this year. So we'll talk about uh, what's trending in the market. We'll also talk about uh, uh, what you should learn uh, depending on what situations and. Uh, it, it will be like my opinions about what I think about a particular technology. So we'll talk about web, mobile, um, data science and all that stuff in this video. So let's start. So first of all, let's talk about the web. Okay, so web is really vast, to be honest. In fact, I am not into that much, uh, like I am not doing web a lot, but yes, still I know that uh, there are a lot of things which can be done. Um, so when you talk about web what you should learn so first thing is javascript okay so we all know that you know javascript is uh, so much popular these days that uh, for everything you can use javascript uh, and uh, i honestly feel that uh, i personally like typescript more than javascript but yes javascript is the thing to go when we talk about uh, web but then uh, today everyone is using front-end libraries or frameworks which kind of do most of the stuff so there are two competitors as of now which i see uh, which are like you know uh, evolving a lot in recent years uh, uh, first of them is react js and second one is uh, Vue.js. um honestly if you are someone who is new to the market and who wants to uh, get into these kind of frameworks or libraries then i would suggest to go with Vue.js because Vue.js is almost like you know um, very easy to get started and uh, yeah it's being used a lot with like in fact google has angular but they are still using Vue.js in a lot of their projects uh, even if i talk about swift ui if you will go to this website then you'll see this is made out of Vue.js. so yes Vue.js is kind of popular it has the most uh, github stars as well like it's around 1,55,000 which is like 30,000 more than react which is which is in existence uh, before uh, Vue.js. so it makes sense that Vue.js is definitely something which you should uh, take a look and then when we talk about jobs then i personally feel that react has more jobs than Vue.js in the market so react.js is also not a bad choice so yes if you are going into 2020 then you should definitely try one of these technologies with either typescript or javascript uh, both of them works very well it depends on the nature of uh, your learning and what you like um then when we talk about the backend part then definitely i would suggest to go with node.js and if you are already into python or uh, maybe you can try golang as well golang is one of those languages which have been you know doing a lot of uh, uh, like good stuff people are doing with golang like companies like postman is using golang so you can definitely try golang uh, for your backend and node.js is definitely a choice here and what's uh, popular is like django fl uh, or flask you can definitely use them if you are into python world so yes that's about web uh, especially the backend and frontend part now let's come to the data science part we all know that uh, there is something called julia which involved uh, um, which evolved a lot um, in recent years I guess so but I still feel that if you are someone who is gonna uh, doing machine learning or maybe data science itself then definitely start with some um, like a programming language which is Python and then uh, try to explore many libraries like uh, like NumPy and Panda and all that stuff just uh, correct yourself in the statistics department and uh, i guess uh, that's that's how you will proceed and python is definitely the best language for data science and machine learning that's what i feel uh, so yeah if you are into this department then definitely in 2020 give more time to python give more time to tools like anaconda and uh, yes it, it is it is a way to go and there are a lot of jobs to be honest so similarly there are a lot of jobs in node.js if you are doing backend there are a lot of jobs in django uh, as well as flask um, golang also it's 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 evolving a lot recently so if you are in data science then definitely go for python and uh, you will find a lot of opportunities in the market now uh, let's talk about one more thing which is mobile apps yes mobile apps is definitely one of those uh, most trending things in the market and there are a lot of options so but i will talk about only four options one is native android development 
second is swift ui for ios development or mac os or even ipad os third one is uh, react native for cross platform development and fourth one is my favorite flutter uh, which is also for cross platform um so i would say if you are someone who is in the kotlin world already if you are in the java world then i won't suggest you to do a lot of stuff because java is definitely one of the languages which is you know not ending anytime soon it's gonna be a long time still from today itself but uh, i would say that um, if you are someone who is really concentrated on uh, android development using kotlin then just stick on there and uh, do a lot of stuff because kotlin is not uh, going anywhere and kotlin is being like you know doing a lot of stuff in it internally it's itself there are now there is called kotlin multi platform and kotlin is like can be done uh, can be used for so many things itself so kotlin is definitely one way to go but then there are many people who are starting with mobile app development and they are doing either freelancing and all that stuff then you have two choices which is react native and flutter i would suggest that if you are from web background then do choose react native and if you feel comfortable with it then it's all fine but if you are someone who is not familiar with that then flutter is a great option because flutter um gives you better performance better design tool kits and um, good animations and all that stuff and i personally feel because google is supporting flutter so it it is definitely a much better option as compared to react native which is being supported by facebook and more from the community because uh, every pa- package is dependent on a third party person because it's it's not like facebook is not maintaining any uh, official package i should say but yes that's the thing and then when it comes to swift ui if you are a totally ios guy or totally someone who is in the apple ecosystem who just want to do apple development then definitely swift ui is for you swift ui is the new thing which you definitely should learn in 2020 because it's gonna be for all the next versions uh, you are going to be using swift ui it supports ios 13 and above versions so yes it's for the future so if you will ask me about the languages which you should learn then my first language which is on number 5 which i would say is c++ because uh, why c++ you might be wondering um i think because uh, c++ is being used everywhere okay and i personally feel uh if you will talk about the best performance then the language which is left is c++ because um, i personally feel c++ uh, um maybe developers are very hard to find these days because uh, they can do a lot of great stuff so c++ is definitely on my list always uh on the fourth number i still give this to java because there are a lot of job opportunities with java and yes you should definitely try it because uh, you know java is not going anywhere uh anytime soon and uh, it it's it's like a tie between java and i would also give the credit to uh new languages like swift go lang and all those um i think they are also a part of the future so swift is definitely you know, totally replacing objective c now and uh, go lang is also one of the languages which have been doing a lot of good stuff even rust uh, is also doing some some stuff so these are some futuristic languages then number 3 i will give to dart just because of flutter because uh, flutter has been doing a lot of things uh, people are like coming into the market there are a lot of opportunities which are now coming in the market and then um i personally feel flutter is definitely for the future for all kind of devices and uh, the language dart which you, uh, initially it was not that good to be honest for me but yes by the time it has become better and better and because i used to love c sharp so um i i guess uh, c sharp is also one of the good languages but then i will have those languages on number 4 because um, it's just not just java but java c sharp and all those you know languages which are like being in the industry for, for from a long time in when we talk about the job perspective then they are there and on the third definitely dart is there on the second number i would say python python is definitely one of the languages which which, which is like for everyone which which is which is also one of the closest a uh, competitor to javascript so python is definitely you should try um you can do lot of stuff with python there are lot of opportunities with python even for the even if you want to do web mobile mobile not that much but yes for web as well as for data science and machine learning python is the best choice and there are lot of job opportunities first number or the first programming language again in 2020 would be javascript because 
you have seen that right you know it already that javascript is definitely one of those languages which is like in demand all the time so javascript is gonna be the best one for 2020 as well um maybe a uh, typescript also is an alternative but at the end that is also javascript so yes that's why i said javascript because javascript is definitely um even if you are considering as a point of job then also it's a great language uh, other than if you want to learn new things new libraries new plugins new frameworks then also javascript is for you it can be done for web it can be used for mobile in fact for machine learning as well a little bit so yes javascript is definitely my number one language um so yeah that's it about this video these are the languages which should you should learn and the, these these are the languages which are in trend in the market so on the fourth place there are a lot of uh, languages which are like rust c sharp java golang and swift and uh, so many languages but yes um these are some options which you know depends on the nature of your job on the nature of what you have been learning in college so yes uh, that's the thing so thank you so much guys for watching and i am i wish you a very happy new year because uh, this year i i think uh, many of us have learned a lot of things and uh, for next year i i would um like to make more content on the tech uh, part and a uh, lot of videos will be coming for different technologies so thank you so much guys for watching subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already press the bell icon to get future updates and also share with your friends who wants to learn something new in 2020 bye bye take care and happy new year